Hey folks, another day dominated by clouds. The clouds tried to thin a little, but it didn't make much difference. We didn't get any sunshine. And you look now, there's just isolated showers continuing to kind of spread northward over the area. Dew points are going up, humidity is going up, and with that we see spotty showers. Nothing real big, but you'll need the windshield wipers for a few seconds as you drive out and about the valley. Willis County seeing a couple of showers as well, northern Hidalgo County, and those are going to dot the valley through the nighttime tonight. And then during the daytime tomorrow, spotty showers again. And as our front approaches late tomorrow, Tomorrow. There could be a thunderstorm mixed in with it. You see a little bit of yellow show up late tomorrow night, even into Sunday morning. And then Sunday is dominated by clouds. But I think maybe, maybe by the very end of the day, the clouds could split just a little bit. Maybe give us a little bit of sunshine, but then it sets. And that's it. It's dark. And so maybe you get a brightening of the clouds Sunday, but not much more than that. Monday, though, I think we see a lot of sunshine. Finally, some dry air builds in, gives us a pretty nice day Monday, and really Tuesday looks pretty good as well. Our rain chances 50% tomorrow, 20% early Sunday, and then we're dry on Monday. These are the currents. We're in the 70s every place but Rio Grande City right now. A little cooler there, but everybody else in the 70s as we speak. Dew points have come up quite a bit from yesterday. They've jumped about 10 degrees from where they were yesterday at this time. So now we're up into the muggy range on the muggy meter, and it'll probably continue to go up until our front comes through. That'll happen late tomorrow. This front's not a big deal temperature wise, but again, it's got the potential to work with the moisture that's here to give us a shower thunderstorm in a few spots. Lows tonight, notice they're really close to what those dew points were. It's not going to get any below the dew points, so mid 60s for lows. And then tomorrow, back in the 70s again with scattered showers and again, maybe a thunderstorm when the front itself comes through. Normal high is 72 now. We're up another degree. Tomorrow will be above that. Then we'll be a little bit below it on Sunday and Monday, but still. The impact of that front, it's there, but it is not dramatic. Upper level storm that brought the scattered showers and clouds to Texas is way north of us now, but still a southwest flow aloft continues to bring moisture into the region. It's all pooling ahead of this front that will move into the area late tomorrow, and with it, perhaps a shower and a thunderstorm. Clouds and drizzle linger into early Sunday, but by late in the day, clouds try to thin a little, but not a lot. If you get a little late day sunshine, that'll be a bonus on Sunday. But I think by Monday, clouds do clear out of here for a day or two. We get back into some sunshine with maybe some clouds coming back in the middle to latter part of next week. Headed north out of the valley tomorrow, San Antonio, we start the day at 59. Could be a couple of showers around. Houston may be a thunderstorm. Here, the possibility of a thunderstorm exists tomorrow as we bounce back in the 70s, the rest of the state into the 60s. Light jacket required if you're going north. So tonight, cloudy with a stray shower, a low of 64 southeast winds. Tomorrow, 75 with a lot of clouds again. A shower, maybe even a thunderstorm in the mix. Most places get less than a half an inch of rain, but if you get it caught under a thunderstorm, if there's thunder and lightning, your rainfall totals could go up to maybe as much as an inch. That'll be isolated. So morning drizzle on Sunday. Monday, we see some sunshine. Some sunshine on Tuesday. One well, mainly cloudy, but there'll be some sunshine. Clouds move back in by Wednesday. Then we're mainly cloudy again for Thursday and Friday of next week. That is your updated First One Five forecast.